Hi, I'm Diana Chen and I'm Brussels Ambassador for the Melbourne Food and Wine Festival. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make my prawn wontons in chilli broth. I think it's something super simple and delicious that you can make at home and your guests are going to love it. And let's face it, who doesn't love dumplings? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the filling for the dumplings. And you can add any ingredients that you want or you wish into the filling. So you can have it vegetarian, add things like tofu or shiitake mushrooms, you can have pork or chicken. But today we're going to focus on some beautiful tiger prawns that I've got here. I'm also going to add in some ginger and some spring onions and then season the mixture with some salt, pepper and some sesame oil. Alright, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to chop up some spring onions. Now you can also add things in like coriander or chives. Um, they, those are quite good options. I've got a, some ginger here, really young and fresh. I'm just going to give that a quick peel and then I'm just going to grate that into the bowl. Now I'm going to add in my prawns. So you just chop that up quite finely and then pop the rest in. There we go. All the mixtures in. Now we're just going to mix that through. I'm going to add in a pinch of salt, so a good pinch. Maybe a bit more. Some white pepper. Now I like to use white pepper just because it's a little bit more subtle and White pepper is used in a lot of Asian cooking as well. Mix that through and then I'm going to add a touch of sesame oil. So I'm, now I'm going to fold some wontons or dumplings. And now the only difference between wontons and dumplings, essentially it's the same thing, but wonton wrappers have egg in them. So I'm going to lay them out. So what you want to do, it's really important when you're filling your dumplings to not overfill it and also to not underfill it. So about, you know, a good teaspoon full is probably about the right amount. And I've got some water here, so I'm just going to run the tip of my finger down the sides. And what we're going to do is I'm going to fold it in half and then press down from the inside to outwards. Step one side with water, fold that away from me and then seal it. And there you go. One little wonton. Now we're going to make probably about a dozen more. And that's the last one. Now my dumplings are all done. So I'm just going to pop them into my steamer basket. It's nice and hot. Now you want to make sure that you have a bit of space apart so that they don't stick together when you're cooking them. Perfect. Now I'm going to pop the lid on and that's going to take 8 to 10 minutes to cook. And in the meantime, I'm going to be making a chilli broth. So in here, I have some chicken stock. So I've made some homemade chicken stock. I'm going to add in a touch of black vinegar. It's all about that balance. So the chicken stock is quite salty and the vinegar is sour. So it's going to be that nice balance. And then we're going to go in with some chilli oil. So I've got some crispy chilli oil here. And then you just want to mix that through. So I'm going to let that simmer. And then that takes about 8 to 10 minutes. So now I'm just going to prepare some of my garnishes. Okay, my dumplings are ready and now it's time to plate up. So they look amazing. So what I'm going to do is I am going to pop them into my serving bowl right here. Perfect. And then now I'm just going to add in my chilli broth. Now how good does that look? I can't wait to tuck in. Thank you so much for watching and visit the link in the description to keep up to date with all of Brussels Melbourne Food and Wine Festival news.